subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Observe how the balls move and collide randomly. The energy produced by the collisions in the second animation is higher. Thus, the balls move and collide at a higher speed. We have learned that all matter is made up of tiny, discrete particles, which are continually moving and colliding. How do you think the movement and collision of the particles are related to a chemical reaction? These are two examples of chemical reactions. How do these chemical reactions occur? Why do these two reactions have different rates? Collision theory is introduced to explain how a chemical reaction occurs and why rate of reaction differs for different reactions. What is collision theory? Let's find out. For a chemical reaction to occur, the reacting particles must collide with each other. Are all collisions successful in producing a chemical reaction? Let's look at the chemical reaction between hydrogen gas and iodine gas as an example. Does the collision produce new molecules? Yes, the collision produces new molecules. The production of new molecules indicate that there is a reaction. Can you predict the other conditions for a chemical reaction to occur? Click each of the boxes. Click any two of these conditions and then click the play button. Observe the animation. Does the collision produce new molecules? Yes. There are no new molecules and it is an ineffective collision. Collision that is not successful in producing new molecules is called ineffective collision. Does the collision result in a chemical reaction? Why? Key in your answer and click the check button once you are done. Does the collision produce new molecules? Yes, there is new molecule and it is effective collision. Collision that is successful in producing new molecules is called effective collision. Does the collision result in a chemical reaction? Why? Click any two of these conditions and then click the play button. Observe the animation. Does the collision produce new molecules? Yes, there are no new molecules and it is an ineffective collision. Collision that is not successful in producing new molecules is called ineffective collision. Does the collision result in a chemical reaction? Why? Does the collision produce new molecules? Yes, there are new molecules and it is effective collision. Collision that is successful in producing new molecules is called effective collision. Does the collision result in a chemical reaction? Why? According to the collision theory, for a chemical reaction to occur, the reacting particles must collide with each other have minimum required energy, collide in the correct orientation. In this lesson, we have learnt that all matter is made up of tiny, discrete particles which are continually moving and colliding. Effective collisions can occur only when the molecules collide with minimum required energy and correct orientation. Collision theory states that for a chemical reaction to occur, the reacting particles must collide with each other, 
have minimum required energy and collide in the correct orientation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.